The following is a presentation of TFNN. It is now time for Living a Primal Lifestyle with your host, Nico Dahan. And now, here's Nico Dahan. Hi, everybody. Nico DeHaan and Paige Clark here, living a primal lifestyle on TFNN. Uh, welcome to the show. It's a beautiful day here in downtown Clearwater, Florida. In fact, it's 81 degrees and the sun is out and uh, humidity's uh, pretty good. So uh, the only thing, I think there's a little pollen in the air, maybe. There is a little bit of pollen in the air, but yeah. we'll make it through it. Yeah. So welcome to the show, folks. I want to remind you the Health Signals newsletter is out there in the web right now. So I've got a new issue coming out next week also, both packed full of things that you need Great to know stuff. about your health, about your uh, lifestyle about your diet, about how you want to exercise and incorporate new things in your life, basically. Paige, you're back. I am back. Oh, it's nice. It's good to be back. I tell you, it's been two weeks. It seems like two years. I know, I know. Well, I told you. That's what I love to do. I love to go to seminars and yeah. training so and events. So you've been busy. You've been busy. So what have you been doing this past two weeks? Well, I'm part of a group um, called Supreme Science Qigong. Okay. And your martial arts background, you're familiar. Uh, Qigong is an ancient Chinese healing exercise practice. It's really breath with movement. It's energy medicine. Like uh, a yoga style type, would you say? Uh, you know, it's, um, it's unique in itself. Uh -huh. uh, you know, it's uh, movements. Maybe Tai Chi would be okay. uh, something you could visualize. But this was a unique weekend. Um, Jeff Premack, who uh, is the founder of Supreme Science uh, Qigong, and there's just so much information in, in that organization. It's just a lovely group. I love being around the people. Uh -huh. um, this was the first ever Qigong strength training class. Oh, okay. Now, do they use weights uh, in the strength training? No. Or just all body weight? Body right? weight. And um, so this is the first ever certification, mm -hmm. and I decided I had to be certified in this. I'm mean, maybe hoping we cool. might do some classes at oh, your yeah, studio. You at my know? place. No, exactly. No, no, no. Oh, people will love yeah. it. Um, but it was very challenging. We had... Um, I'm proud of myself that I finished. I, I, I did cool. the certification, but you know, it's, you know, sure. it's the point that we're using our own body weight and yeah. movement. But let me tell you what attracted me to it is that um, so much strength training exercise or intense exercise, which is a um, philosophy you and I both share that right. you know we need to do strength training to build strong bones and and stay uh, vital. People end up having kind of a cortisol release after they do an extraneous exercise, and we all know that cortisol increases our fat storage. Yeah. It's a stressor on the body. Yeah. I mean, a lot of times athletes are the people that drop dead of heart attacks uh, because they've just pushed themselves so far. So what I love is it integrates the um, intensity with a reminder of deep healing breath. And uh, one of the things we say when we're doing the class, and that's I had to learn to instruct the class, uh -huh. um, is even though your heart is beating fast, you are breathing slow. And you uh, take this Qigong breath, like and it's just, I, it's just the best workout. I, honestly, I that's, think it's the best workout. That's very Zen-like, too. It is. Yeah, yeah. It, it's the best workout I ever had. I'm very excited. So, um, you know, if things go well, we might at the start of the year start having some special webinars, I think, for yeah, the Tigers and Tigresses. Yeah, we definitely do some instructions because mm -hmm. we had talked about me doing some uh, flexibility uh, mm -hmm. training. Mm -hmm. And uh, just basically uh, some primal movements that you right. can do. So uh, we're definitely, uh, that's what we're working more for towards the first of the year. Qigong would be excellent in that. Exactly. Also the yoga. Oh, sure. Uh, we teach, you know, we share everything with everyone. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm that's also, I teach whole food-based healing classes. And... Um, that's, that's awesome. You can learn a little bit about the food-based healing protocols if you do go to qigong.com. It's, it's Q-I-G-O-N-G.com, and that's Supreme Science uh, website. Um, but the food-based healing protocols are kind of the heart of what my practice, my office, mm -hmm. my personal health coaching business is here, is that I really try and teach people to use foods to help their own bodies heal. Sure, and, and that makes and, so much sense. And it's not just about, you know, we talk in general about eating good foods. Uh -huh. It's more target specific, eating a certain food if you have a certain condition, sure. such as three kiwis a day if you have asthma. Reverses, it reverses mm -hmm. asthma, the, the kiwis and your own belief system that you mm -hmm. can be well are very it, effective. It, it triggers something in the body that makes a response that helps get rid of the it, asthma. It has tremendous powerful phytochemicals um, 
in the center, particularly in the white part of the kiwi. Very powerful, strong, food-based, complete, whole synergistic vitamin C in the kiwi. That's what does it. I believe asthma is a severe vitamin C deficiency, huh. among Very other things. But, yeah. So, but this is all coming. I mean, I think what we've decided is that we're going to create some special training webinars that you all might not get to see unless you could attend a live event here. So uh, stay tuned. Hopefully we'll have that together at the start of the year. Yeah. Exciting. Very exciting. Uh, speaking of exciting, of course, I get emails from uh, s several uh, listeners and watchers and people who are uh, trying to really, you know, get it together uh, as far as uh, what human beings do. You know, mm -hmm. eat better and uh, find a way to uh, strengthen your own uh, health and your own uh, lifestyle in the, in the manner that you want it. And this is uh, from Mitch, and he uh he wanted a little clarification because last week I was talking about uh, the omega-6, omega-3, and uh, that omega-6 is inflammatory, which is, mm -hmm. you know, it's a, there's a balance that you need to find. And natural foods have that kind of balance, like grass-fed beef has a balance of about 3 to 1, omega-6 to omega-3. Which the complete opposite of uh, conventional beef. That's yeah, like a 20 to 1 omega-6. Anywhere from 15 all the way up to 30 to 1, depending on, the, mm -hmm. on if it's even processed more. Right. And uh, a lot of animals are having this problem, and that's basically because of what they're eating. Naturally. Because they're eating what? They're eating grains, grains. of course. Grains. Yeah. And uh, so he, what's the best source of omega-3? And uh, I think I mentioned that uh, krill oil or salmon oil, mm -hmm. uh, really high. Sardines are also high. Mm -hmm. uh, what I wouldn't recommend is using the polyunsaturated fats from plants as a basis for your omega-3. Uh, even uh, Flax you know. oil, well, I'm going to tell you, I mean, it's still a very healthy oil. Uh, however, your body has to go through a second or third stage to break it down to be the usable right. version of that the omega-3. Your fish are your best, your yeah, animal source. The, the, the body converts that immediately, where uh, with the seed type of uh, omega-3, your body has to have these other steps involved and may not even get to those steps. Mm -hmm. And uh, what you're ha basically doing is really wasting a lot of time with, uh, even though uh, the research has shown it's really high in omega-3. It's one of the highest things on the planet, uh, flax seeds. Oh, yeah. They're one it's a wonderful food in, yeah. in so many ways. Yeah. But ideally, uh, see, I, I, what I do with my clients, just for an example, okay. and I can help you with that question too, um, okay. Mitch. Um, I have my clients take fish oils, clean fish oils, and I believe three to 5,000 milligrams a day mm -hmm. can be right. I mean, I just don't really think we can get, you know, along with your healthy diet of eating something like wild-caught salmon with a high omega-3 and some grass-fed, yeah. clean, consciously raised beef. Um, but I also have a product I, I, uh, inspect, or I suggest that my clients mm -hmm. take. It's called EFA Essential Oils that um, includes flax oil, olive oil, which is your healthy omega-9s, barrage and primrose oils which are healthy omega-6s so we don't want to get confused and think that all omega-6s are bad uh, very important for hormone balance and skin for men and women so I, I have them use this little concoction on like as a salad dressing or they just mix it in I, because I believe in the whole food, yeah. whole food uh, yeah. smoothie, yeah, no, I have them add their healthy fats and it's all and done. And if I can interject here, you know the basis for us is mostly saturated fat because that's what we are I and mean, we have with a lot of uh, saturated fats in us and most of them come from the natural foods that animal we have sources. animal sources so uh, if we have to boost these things uh, it's because we're actually things are being removed from us because of all the bad food we have and you know what a really important point is so that's is the that reason for detox too saturated fats from animal fats help keep the other fats the polyunsaturated fats healthy and unoxidized it, it's important to have them both you yeah. know i think of coconut as a saturated fat right you know it was it it's been you know i mean the coconut just like the egg you know it's been vindicated you know people yeah, realize it's yeah, yeah yeah i mean well, you, and I, you and i both put coconut in our in our morning yeah. pepper brews yeah and, and I soak my eggs in them. I, I put a, I take a tablespoon and put it and fry my eggs in it, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. sausage, whatever else I'm frying with the vegetables and stuff. I and it always overflows with the oil because I want all that oil. I lick it up if it's the left on the plate. I mean, you know, so I, I believe in licking your plate clean. Let's well, see. healthy fats are what we, we are cells, and our cells have membranes, and the membrane is what controls what comes in the cell, what goes out the cell. If you don't maintain a healthy membrane, a cell membrane, and that means taking great 
fats, then you're going to be, your body's going to use whatever it has. And if you're eating processed foods and you're getting trans fats or, um, you know, fats that have been oxidized through pasteurization, think pasteurized milk, right. um, then your body's going to have to use those fats. And you're going to be made of plastic fats. And then, you know, it's like I always show people, it's like having saran wrap over your face. Yeah. Your cells can't and, breathe. And then whatever good fats you are taking in really don't have a chance against the bad flat fats. So mm -hmm. uh, the reason for the primal type diet uh, is to get all those toxins out so everything that you do get is very healthy and it's going to be so much I mean the, the difference is immediate when I first started taking omega-3s I noticed a shift in my brain almost because mm -hmm. it just calms you down well all of our you know our brain is, is basically a yeah. fatty structure yeah. you know, so. then when I started really on the primal diet and this, I had been doing omega-3s for a decade and the maximum dose possible you know right. I, I, because I was already in my 50s when I started that mm -hmm. so uh, but when I added saturated fat into my diet again, that whole change was even, did so much more mm -hmm. because those omegas were working for uh, quite a few years and then all of a sudden the saturated fats kicked in and your body really does respond rather quickly. Well, when you eat healthy fats, mm -hmm. you don't, you're not hungry. Right. You don't Because you're hungry. satisfied. Exactly. Yeah, exactly what the sugar does for a very short period of time. You're stable. Your blood yeah. sugar. So that, that, and that's the real difference in, in diet, folks, is when you're talking about uh, having a log on the fire, so to speak, or a full gas tank, that means you can go a long distance and you won't get hungry. And even when you get hungry, it's not a panic situation. But if you're eating a, or you're burning sugar, eating more starches, what you're doing is setting yourself up to be hungry a couple of hours later. And if it's not a couple of hours later, you start getting more frantic and your brain doesn't work as well. That's so true. And uh, so it's, it's a whole different mindset when you start burning fat. Let's, let's the, answer the Mitch's question, you know. You want to go there? Yeah, down? I okay. want to. Uh, well, he's talking about dry skin. So we have just a couple, maybe a minute left mm -hmm. here. So uh, what would you say? I, well, you know, the first thing I, t I said, mentioned to him is that, you know, I think of hydration. Absolutely. Hydration is huge. So you've got to drink a lot of water when the weather changes and that he might be from a colder climate. He mentions that every year his skin gets dry and he's cold all the time. First thing I think of is thyroid. And it's typical that the thyroid slows down in spring and in fall when there's a weather change. Uh, I'm a firm believer in natural iodine. I use a nascent iodine with my clients. I really like it. It gives you great energy. Take a few drops in the morning. Um, but, again, the healthy fats are going to help with the skin. Okay. Typically, when people are low in the healthy fats, mm -hmm. um, you know, their skin's going to be dry. But there's usually sometimes a B vitamin, biotin. Yeah, deficiency. So, so up the B vitamins, that's going to give you more energy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Exercise, of course, is good. We're going to go on a break, folks. Uh, please pick up my Health Signals newsletter. Got a next uh, new one uh, out right now, another one coming next week, so please do that. Uh, the number here is 877-927-6648. You can give us a call, and uh, Nico and Paige will be right back. In just December of last year, the price of gold was down over 10%. In today's highly volatile gold market, you need someone in your corner that understands the complex relationships that exist within the price of gold, as well as within a variety of gold equities. Whether it's the South African gold miners and knowing how the RAND dollar relationship will affect their bottom line, or understanding how John Paulson's $5 billion trade in the GLD can move the market, Tom O'Brien gives you the direction you need to become a better trader each week in his newsletter, The Gold Report. With over 20 individual equities covered and almost another 20 on the potential watch list each week, in addition to covering the XAU, HUI, GLD, and Dollar, The Gold Report is a great source for any trader that is looking to be diversified in today's volatile gold market. For your 30-day free trial to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report, log on to TFNN.com today. Don't miss out on this great offer. Act now. 
You take a hands-on approach to managing your investment strategy. You're always looking for the next trading opportunity to magnify your perspective. Direction Shares connects sophisticated traders with a powerful array of ETFs from a wide range of asset classes. The markets may go up and down, and you want tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. 80% of traders fail because they don't know when to get in or out of a market, and all because no one taught them how to read the signs. You see, the stock market has a universal language called Japanese candlesticks, and each day, the buyers and sellers, the bulls and bears, go to work and build signs. This language has been around for thousands of years, and it's easy to learn. I'm Steve Rhodes, co-host of The Money Masters Show, and I'm a master sign builder. Download my free report, Candlesticks, The Speed of Trust, on the homepage of TFNN.com for one of the best-kept candlestick secrets. I'll also be conducting an online course Friday, October 19th, to teach you the language of the market's sign builders. You'll learn the best entry and exit techniques and strategies that will create extraordinary rewards. The course will be archived so you can review it as many times as you like because trading or investing without learning this language is like running a red light. It's an accident waiting to happen and there's no airbags or seatbelts. All the details are on the homepage of TFNN.com. What type of investor are you? Conservative, moderate, or aggressive? No matter your investor personality, your overall portfolio should reflect your financial goals, time horizon, and your risk tolerance. Help ensure your portfolio is appropriately invested with an asset allocation plan from Morgan Stanley Smith Barney. Simply picking the right stocks is not enough. Research has shown that choosing the right proportion of stocks, bonds, and cash is essential to the success of your long-term investments. Morgan Stanley Smith Barney believes that a carefully selected portfolio can lower volatility and increase investment return potential. Find out about what asset allocation location and the Morgan Stanley Smith Barney financial advisor can do for you. Call Angela O'Brien, first vice president and certified financial planner of the Clearwater, Florida branch at 727-441-6108 today to discuss your personal financial needs. Asset allocation does not assure a profit or protect against loss in declining financial markets. Investments and services are offered through Morgan Stanley Smith Barney, LLC, member SIPC. This segment is brought to you by Great Panther Silver. For more information, just click the Great Panther Silver banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back to the show, folks. It's Nico and Paige on Living a Primal Lifestyle. Our number here is 877-927-6648. Uh, I remind you to pick up my Health Signals newsletter. Uh, it's out right now and a uh, new one coming next week. It's only $10 a month and you get it uh, free for 30 days. So two issues you get for free. You can ponder uh, your decision to uh, keep it or not, and uh, you can cancel at any time. So it's a bargain. You get a lot of information on it. Great newsletter. How to remain healthy. Yeah. Wealthy and wise, as we say here. Also, our uh, audios are archived on TFNN.com and podcasts on iTunes, videos on livingaprimallifestyle.com and on YouTube. So we were talking about Mitch, who had the problem uh, understanding the omega threes. I think we pretty much figured, uh, you know, the fish oil is the omega three. The coconut oil that you have listed is a saturated fat. Uh, they work great olive, together. Worked great together. Olive oil, mono and saturated fat. Uh, avocado is avocado. The awesome. Monounsaturated fat, yep. so, an avocado a day. Yeah, mm -hmm. so the monos are, we need those. We don't need a lot of monos. We don't need a lot of the omega threes. We need a lot of saturated fat. Basically, mm -hmm. that's the way I look at it. Uh, as far as your dry skin, uh, I don't know what, what advice would you give Mitch uh, about? Well, I would advise that he consider consider yeah. uh, giving himself some thyroid support through a nice mm -hmm. natural herbal formula, thyroid support formula. Um, keep in mind, if you go to the doctor and they do the TSH test, you may be in the normal range. Um, the TSH test basically um, is a uh, hormone that's measuring thyroid stimulating hormone and it can fluctuate and you know the old doctors at the turn of the century uh,
basically treated thyroid as a symptom. If you have the symptoms of which dry skin and not being warm are two very strong symptoms of an underperforming uh, thyroid, then the uh, standard of care was to introduce desiccated thyroid support. And that was standard right. care. Um, now they'll look at it and if your TSH is out of the range, then they'll consider putting you on a synthetic thyroid that I don't usually recommend doing because it doesn't have the full complement. Um, or they'll tell you that everything's fine and if you're a woman and you have itchy skin and, and the hair's falling out and you have no energy, they'll say, do you need an antidepressant? <laughs> Which doesn't solve the problem. <laughs> well, they give you some uh, cream for your skin uh, that has mm -hmm. steroid in it or something. You really your, want to, yeah. uh, you know, and although I don't treat and diagnose disease, I evaluate functional wellness. Uh, when I look at lab work from people, I want them to get the full thyroid panel so I can see what their free T3 and T4 is doing. It might just be that you actually have enough T4 thyroid hormone, but you're what I call a piss poor converter. Maybe you don't have the minerals, i.e., the selenium. Two Brazil nuts a day, by the way, will give you enough selenium, mm -hmm. to keep you flu free, and and help you uh, convert the thyroid properly. So I would consider checking your thyroid. I would get for a, a natural thyroid support. Maybe eventually, when I get my website done and everything, we'll create yeah. some links where people can just order things we might talk about. And, I mean, he, and everything he just, he's doing seems to be, you know, he rarely eats any grains. So. He just need, you just need to get your omega-3 intake up. Yeah. You may need to keep it elevated and get on a nice B formula because it is biotin that can interfere with cellular retention of the good fats, so sometimes getting that B vitamin number mm -hmm. up, and the iodine. Um, yeah, it says here also that uh, he used to eat a lot of eggs, but f uh, fresh eggs uh, mean an upset stomach for him now, unless they're a couple of weeks old and they appear to be all right. That's interesting. Yeah. But, um, it sounds like you've got a good diet, um, Mitch, you know, primarily. I just think your thyroid's struggling. It's not unusual. Thyroid can be yeah. struggling. Thanks for writing me. Mm -hmm. You can do that at nico at uh, tfnn.com, by the way. So shoot me an email, email if you have any questions. I usually respond within, a, you know, 48 hours uh, email, and some of them I'll read on the show. Uh, you know, I had this re interesting thing. In fact, I was reading this, and I got an email from uh, somebody that said, hey, did you hear about this? And it's really about arsenic in our food, and uh, it's really uh, the arsenic is coming from the soil. Mm-hmm. So that's the first problem because of the way we uh, make uh, agriculture in this country. Mm -hmm. and sooner or later, you're going to have poisons in the soil. Mm -hmm. And arsenic, arsenic is certainly a, a very natural product. It's not uh, something that we devised. Right. Uh, and it's now showing up in food and per, uh, most dominantly because we... Uh, we manufacture a lot of grains here yeah, in the Yeah, I was going to say, well, guess, guess where we're seeing the highest numbers? Always in the grains, In right? the grains. Yeah. And it was interesting, we were, it saw in the article that... Um, now, this they, is Consumer Reports, yeah. is what I was reading. So. Yeah, Consumer Reports said that they evaluated different brands and trying to figure out how to advise people to limit their exposure. But, uh, you know, infant cereal, hot cereal, ready-to-eat cereal, rice drink, you know, these rice milks and everything. Uh, rice, rice pasta, rice crackers, rice cakes. And so this is all grain stuff that you really have to worry about, and, and it probably doesn't come through the f fruits and the vegetables as much. They're grown a lot different than these monocrops are. Mm -hmm. So another good reason why the primal diet is so good for you, you avoid all this. You don't even have to worry about that because it's not part of your diet. It's not part of the processed food that you eat. If it's processed, we better have a good reason for processing it, not, not uh, diminishing our health in some way. So. Okay, we'll be right back, folks. Uh, it's Nico and Paige. We're at 877-927-6648. We're going to talk a little bit more about GMO, uh, GMOs, right? Yes, yes, we are. Okay. Important. We're right back, folks. You've heard Tom O'Brien on the air, and you've seen him on Tiger TV, as well as being featured as a regular CNBC guest and contributor. And now you can have access to his expert trading advice each morning through his daily trading newsletter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, gives traders, investors, and money managers a thorough strategy for trading stocks, options, and indices every market day. Market Insights comes out each market day before 9.30 a.m. and provides 
traders with Tom's daily commentary, opinion, and specific trade recommendations on the markets. Using advanced Fibonacci methods, volume indicators, Gartley patterns, candlestick charting, gaps, and market timing, Market Insights will give you specific trade recommendations including entry, stop, and exit prices. The summer is over and traders are back. Get your two-week free trial to Market Insights today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's n-a-d-e-x.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Recently, Basil Chapman has had some outstanding trades in his newsletter, The Opening Call. Each morning by 9 a.m., Basil uploads his newsletter to the TFNN servers so that his subscribers can access his expert trading advice. Basil gives his take on the direction of key indices and updates any active trades that his subscribers are currently in. Just recently, Basil's subscribers closed out a short position in Chipotle Mexican Grill, CMG, for more than an $86 profit per share, over a 20% gain in just one position. If you'd like to check out Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, then visit the front page of TFNN.com and click Trading Newsletters. There you'll find Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, where you can request a free sample copy. Also, don't miss Basil's program, The Tiger Technician's Hour, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 11 a.m. Eastern on TFNN. In just December of last year, the price of gold was down over 10%. In today's highly volatile gold market, you need someone in your corner that understands the complex relationships that exist within the price of gold, as well as within a variety of gold equities. Whether it's the South African gold miners and knowing how the RAND dollar relationship will affect their bottom line, or understanding how John Paulson's $5 billion trade in the GLD can move the market, Tom O'Brien gives you the direction you need to become a a better trader each week in his newsletter, The Gold Report. With over 20 individual equities covered and almost another 20 on the potential watch list each week, in addition to covering the XAU, HUI, GLD, and dollar, The Gold Report is a great source for any trader that is looking to be diversified in today's volatile gold market. For your 30-day free trial to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report, log on to TFNN.com today. Don't miss out on this great offer. Act now. This segment is brought to you by Crocodile Gold. For more information, just click the Crocodile Gold banner on the front page of TFNN.com. <laughs> Welcome back to the show, folks. It's Nico and Paige on Living a Primal Lifestyle. We're having a lot of fun here. And uh, let's see, what were you we talking about uh, just before the break here? Oh, we're not trying to beat a dead horse, but the Proposition 37 in oh, yes. California GMOs. is not, right. you know, the right to know labeling GMO foods. It's just so important because... The saying is, the way California goes, the rest of the country goes. And how would you like it if you went into the grocery store and you picked up a box, and when you turn it over to the nutritional facts label, it said, none of your business. Well, you know, I think one thing that we need to understand is from the basis of what's going on right now with GMOs, because mm -hmm. it's in about half of the products that you buy. Um, mostly packaged products, but that can change mm -hmm. because they're doing genetic things, uh, and a lot of them aren't labeled. And what they're trying to do in California is get, if it's GMO of any trace whatsoever in it food, has it has to be disclosed. Mm -hmm. So, of course, the companies are making a big uh, brouhaha. Oh, it's going to wear us down. But, uh, you know, labeling, keeping track of what's going on with food uh, doesn't get any... Uh, more taxing than it does with meat products. Exactly. 
and that's they put up with that uh, the small farmer even has okay with that in fact they're probably better at it I like this quote Proposition 37 isn't a ban on foods containing genetically engineered material. It's a right to know law. Yes. As things stand, you can find out whether your salmon is wild or farm raised and where it's from. But under existing legislation, you won't be able to find out whether it contains the gene of an eel. I would like to know yeah. if my salmon has been spliced and with the course, gene of an eel or a tomato. Yeah, and if they don't report it, if they don't have to report it anymore, then they can start putting it into everything and you won't have any idea mm -hmm. and you know big companies like Monsanto put pressure on companies like Whole Foods to not disclose these things and right now Whole Foods is one of those companies said oh okay finally they haven't donated anything by the way Whole Foods has not made any donation to Proposition 37 I think right. that kind of smells like a rat yeah and and you know Monsanto which was voted the worst company in 2011 I mean they are actually threatening states with very expensive lawsuits if they go on their own, if the states go on their own with this GMO labeling. So yeah. we have to just, I mean, the, the stats are that overwhelmingly <clears throat> majority of people want the right to know what's in their food. So I know you do. You want to know. So let people know that you want to know. Support yeah, and uh, people who are out in California vote for this thing. You know, make sure that... If you have uh, friends in California, tell them to make sure they support Proposition 37. No doubt about it, because mm -hmm. uh, as uh, it happens there, it'll happen across the nation. And it's unfortunate that we have to go to these levels, but, you know, uh, we do rely on le these large companies to provide us a certain amount of the food, even though I try to get away from them as much as possible. And that's really the reason that living a primal lifestyle is so cool, because you eliminate 90% of those foods. Yeah, because you sh you shop on the outer perimeter. Yeah. You kind of avoid that. If, yeah. you, if you, you you solve eighty percent of your problem if you do just that. Exactly. Whether you go to your local. Hey, if you uh, just go to a farmer's market and get some meat and get some vegetables, what else do you need? Exactly. And, I mean, they're opening up now. This is in Florida. Yeah. Ours kind of are stopped in the summer. Things, the more they're going to be out there. Mm -hmm. You we, just have to go to them, folks. That's all there is to it. You know, we used to make it a uh, a uh, a weekly event. When we were young, we used to walk. I to love town. going. I love going to. It. Yeah, I, was I love the St. Pete about market it particularly. Our St. Pete farmers market is kind of world famous. I think yeah. as an example of a great market, you can get yeah. everything. Yeah. So. So so can I can I share this? You yes. know, Kind of on that same line. Okay. You know, we're talking about knowing what's in your food, and in the primal lifestyle, um, you know, there's different degrees of. Primality. Um, you know. Well, there's uh, the, the one before uh, animals became, uh, uh, you know, domesticated. Right. Right. So there's a group of uh, people who do well with milk, and mm -hmm. there's certain populations that don't. I think you're talking about milk now. Right? Yeah, I'm right. kind of leading into milk okay. um, because I think that um, uh, if you believe in having milk, you're half right and you're half wrong. So it can be 50% sure. right or 50% wrong. Right. Yeah. Um, if you are going to use the superfoods and, and nutrients that are in milk, it and has milk to be is a raw. raw. Milk yeah. is a superfood, right. um, and it, it has to be raw. If you uh, are going to eat pasteurized milk, then it's a no-go as far as I'm concerned. That's what I teach the people that want to work with me. Um, and I wanted to give you an example because um, I went to my co-op where I buy my pet milk, and um, I by accident picked up skim milk, and I came home, and I was like, Oh my gosh, I, I picked up the wrong wrong jug. And then I thought, well, wait a minute, who in the world would order skim milk to begin with? And I realized that there's a lot of misunderstanding. Some people think, oh gosh, if I'm going to drink milk, I should drink skim milk. And that's absolutely not no, the thing the to do. No, because the reason we want milk is for the fat. Exactly. And so, you take half it needs, of it out, I mean, it doesn't make any sense. Your milk needs to be raw. And I got some really cool information about milk. So yeah. whether or not you are a milk drinker, just kind of put it aside, but let's listen to kind of the thought. We're talking about processed foods, because if you drink milk, it needs to be raw. And just so you know, before, you know, when they're processing skim milk, it's almost a blue, gray, unappetizing color. And it's a watery, watery texture, because they've removed the cream from the milk. And so to whiten, this is the key thing, to whiten and thicken the skim milk, guess what they add? What? Powdered milk. <laughs> they add powdered milk, which is a processed milk, but guess what? You don't see that on the label. Go look at your skim milk label. You won't because see. Because it's milk, 100% milk, folks. It's all, that's all they have to put. Yeah. So what's so bad about powdered milk? Well, in the manufacturing process, and this ties in with the healthy fats that we were talking about, the liquid milk is forced through tiny holes at very high pressure. 
This ultra pasteurized is the worst too, by the way. Mm -hmm. Higher heat um, too. Which causes the cholesterol in the milk to oxidize. So what is oxidized fat? Trans fats. Trans Those are the fat. bad fats. So, um, no, no, so no. The, the, it has toxic nitrates that form. So oxidized cholesterol contributes to the buildup of plaque on the arteries. So pasteurization itself is a trans fat. It is the pasteurized milk. But when the milk is raw in its raw state, you get all the great nutrients that yeah. you know milk yeah. is famous for. That the traditional, the and traditional cultures. You know, Dr. Uh, Weston Price, who everyone knows, I love and believe that his work, yeah. similar work, no nutrition and physical degeneration. He identified the X factor. So I just, the X factor in milk is what. Uh, is vitamin K2 actually, K2, right. vitamin K2, and that's what actually builds strong bones by telling the calcium to stay in the bones and then... And you only get the uh, K2 from animal products. From animal products that eat rapidly growing grass. That sounds to me like grass-fed beef. Grazers. Grazers, raw milk and raw artesian cheese products. So sad that we have these raw artesian cheese manufacturers that are having their properties rated. Um, <laughs> what K2 does is it keeps the calcification out of the arteries. So think about it. What do we have in this country? We have calcification of the eyes and we have cataracts. We have arthritis, calcification of joints. We have um, heart disease, calcified aortic. I mean, it goes on and on. Um, if we were eating the foods, but in 1940s, when Dr. Price was, you know, saying, sharing his information on this X factor, now known to be K2, uh, that was the time that they started moving the cows into, you know, great um, farm facilities and feeding because them grains. Because he was grains. always studying indigenous people and mm -hmm. in their natural setting, uh, eating their natural foods, and they f that's when he found this little uh, X, X factor. factor. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, there was a secret ingredient that was working there. It was kind of like the fountain of youth that the, everybody's always looking for. It is. And we have it in our natural food. It's only when they screw it up with uh, these large companies that are messing our food up. And it's a, it's a real problem, uh, the GMOs. This whole thing started really with this uh, fad of no fat in your food because the fat's going to clog up your arteries. Mm -hmm. uh, that, has, of course, has been disproven, disproven years ago. Okay. But the meme is still here. People still want low-fat stuff. Uh, I don't. I want the high-fat stuff. I do, too. Just the good ones. Okay, so let's listen. Okay. Why? Remember I was telling you in the yeah. car? Um, so here's another article that I got that says, just say no to skim milk. Okay, so we've just talked about the fact that skim milk is altered by adding powdered, processed, oxidized um, stuff to make it more palatable. There's no fat. Uh, this woman was writing an article about how she goes to her natural co-op to get her pet food and where the, the milk is raw and she was at and she was looking at the, the farmer raises pasteurized pigs which that's a whole different thing than the pigs you know pork that we eat yep. but um, pastured pigs and they were talking and she was showing how she had her breeders and so forth but the long story short is she said well what do you feed your your uh, pigs and she says well I feed them skim milk and they were like why wouldn't you want to fatten them up that's the complete opposite if you feed um, the pigs uh, skim milk, you know, mm -hmm. uh, they 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 don't get satisfied because there's no fat, so they'll eat and they'll get no, fat. Right. So think about this, guys. They're feeding these pigs grains and skim milk to make them fat. to make them eat and eat and eat. What does that sound like to you? It sounds like to me, Most the American Americans. children <laughs> in the morning yeah. with a cereal with you know their parents are buying them low fat or skim milk because they think they don't want them to get fat. And, and so that's have an the story. Obesity problem, folks. All farmers know that skim milk is one of the most valuable adjuncts of the farm for fattening swine. Wow. So I know I was kind of harping on the milk thing, but no, I just, hey. Yeah, you, know, uh, you know whether or not you choose to drink, and I sometimes get people who I get. Well, we eat cheeses at our house. Yeah. All, most of our cheeses, well, they're either really raw, and I can only eat that because uh, it comes from a cow, yeah. because my wife can't eat anything from a cow. Uh, but uh, the goat cheeses that goat she buys... And sheep, go, goat and sheep uh, cheeses and milks are actually easier, easier to stomach, digest. Yeah. But keep in mind, guys, raw milk has a whole different enzyme structure. You're able to break it down. Yeah, much easier And, on and that's what people don't understand. Oh, I'm intolerant to milk. Most people, when they switch yeah. to raw milk, they don't have any problems. Yeah. You're not saying you have to drink a lot. 
Uh, well, you know, milk I mean, is kind of like alcohol. Greens. If you're allergic to it, you don't use it. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. Know? So, uh, I mean, alcohol uh, done in minute quantities is a great uh, thing. And if it tastes good, makes you feel good. There's nothing wrong with that. So uh, I would say, uh, you know, if you uh, want milk, get it from a natural source. Uh, so the Western... Price organization is a great place to is get hard a hard cheese to, better than soft cheese. Mitch wants that. Uh, uh, yes, um, you know there. I think that it is, and especially the artesian cheeses that are raw, and you can find them at the grocery stores. Particularly Gouda cheese. Mm, um, I, I have a lot of my clients buy Gouda, and and they're like, and I say I want you to do that to keep your arteries clear. It seems like such an oxymoron. Yeah. People look at me like I'm crazy. And they but make some great K2. goat uh, goodas. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and they're, they're a little bit drier, mm-hmm. uh, and, but they're not as strong as some of the, uh, the like the gouda in the yellow casing. Right. Uh, is a real sharp one, which I really like, but you can only eat small amounts of it. But this is the point. Um, support your local farmers markets you're going to find these healthy traditional foods if you start frequenting those places let's vote with our forks and our wallets and support yeah. conscious people i mean wherever you are in the country you know i know that through the weston price foundation there's uh some link if you want to look for co-ops that might have eat unprocessed wild, dairy awesome. for eat your wild. pet com. okay eat, eat wild eat wild.com uh it has farms all over the place and co-ops mm-hmm. and uh also the farmers themselves and i think there's one and i don't know why i had brain freeze about it but it's called rawmilk.org or rawmilk.com yeah. one or the other you can put in your city or your org, town yeah. and you can find out where you can yes you know yeah. to get so those a lot of resources foods. really i mean the web uh you know once uh, you get an iphone or uh, an equivalent uh, you can start you're really showing off your research. new iPhone. Yes, I have. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> My wife actually got a white one, and they look nice, too. Oh, boy. But, uh, you know, uh, the thing is I really believe in buying local. And, you know, so if we're going to support our local people, you can see how these large companies are not going to survive. And that's probably why they're panicking right now. They're already starting to listen to the show. And they say, hey, Nico's talking about oh, this that's stuff. Right. We, better get, we better get it together here. That's so, right. You know, buying local will make you feel better. You're going to eat less junk just because the local people usually don't have the junk. Exactly. You know, they don't have big, big trucks to carry this stuff in. So they're only carrying the good stuff they know they can sell. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you have to have fresh stuff if you want to get rid of it fast, the nice big turnover. They, have, they need to get rid of it, so uh, you're going to get, get it at a price that you want to. So it's and good. I know a lot of you all drink the, the Tiger Brew, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I have some right here. So that's Nico's Tiger Brew, and yep. he puts uh, nothing better than raw butter in raw your Tiger butter. Brew, which you get from a... Well, this was carry gold that we're using. Carry gold, which yeah. you can get. Which, That's which is a grass-fed butter from uh, um, Ireland. Right, from Ireland. And very good. Uh, and it is a good also, good uh, you can get um, uh, some coconut oil if you want, or I use MCT oil at home, which is the best part of the coconut oil, mm-hmm. uh, the medium chain triglycerides. I told you what I do. I put my raw cream in there. Yes, and uh, we were talking about that on the way in here. Mm-hmm. And, and uh, coconut oil. Yeah, so hard I get the cream. As that. long as it's raw, it's a great product and mm-hmm. uh, I remember Not half and half. when I was living up in Sudbury up in, up in northern Canada uh, I'd uh, wait for the milkman to come in the middle of the winter and the pasteurized milk the cream would go to the top and that would freeze so before my parents woke up I would scoop that out mm-hmm. and eat mm-hmm. that oh man that was so good too yeah I mean, that's the best candy you can get. But that's why when you say, pour Ooh. your, your and because that's what happens when you buy the raw milk. When you pour it, you know, you see the creams risen to yeah. the top. And, you know, nature just knows how just the right amount of cream to go in. Yeah. Uh, but sometimes when I'm out, because when I'm, I don't really drink that much milk, actually. Mm-hmm. I, I buy it because uh, for my, my son, who's still at home with me. But um, I drink the cream in the raw cheeses. Yeah. So, but so sometimes I can, sometimes I can skim um you know, a little bit of the cream off the top to, for my coffee. It's a good choice. Okay. Uh, we got another topic here. Uh, well, we got one more segment left, so okay. that's good. Let's talk about that. We're going to talk about uh, feeding your baby's grains and what's what's happening in that arena. So uh, this is Nico and Paige. The number here is 877-927-6648. Remind you to pick up my Health Signals newsletter. Where is this baby here? There it is. There it is right there. Good Folks. stuff in there for you guys. Yeah, 10 bucks a month, twice a month. Can't beat it. Be right back. If you're an investor looking for a great weekly investment newsletter, then now is the perfect time to try out Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks. 
Every Tuesday, Ken breaks down multiple sectors in his weekly newsletter, Ultimate Growth Stocks, with a full in-depth report including specific trading recommendations within his model portfolio, charts, sector analysis, upcoming economic data, along with intraweek trading updates on newsletter positions whenever the market dictates. Right now, you can receive a full month, that's 30 days, to evaluate Ken's newsletter free of charge to see if it fits your trading plan. At less than $75 per month, Ken provides you with his expert trading advice that can pay for itself in no time. Take advantage of this great offer by signing up for a 30-day free trial to Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks today. Don't let this offer pass you by. Visit the front page of TFNN.com and sign up now. With the launch of Tiger TV, TFNN has brought our programming to the next level. With Tiger TV, you can gain access to each host's charts and computer screens as they host their daily stock program. Whether it's Tom O'Brien, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Ken Shreve, David White, Larry Pesavento, Victor Jones, or Carol Martin, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV for your viewing pleasure 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you haven't checked out Tiger TV, then visit TFNN.com and see what you're missing. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den, absolutely free, for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Are you looking for a precision edge in the market? Something that can stack the odds in your favor? Then look into Larry Pesavento's new trading newsletter, Patterns, Profits, and Peace of Mind. In each weekly issue, Larry explains what's going to happen in the markets based on the pattern he sees developing and gives you actionable trade ideas based on those patterns. Plus, you'll get his detailed analysis on a variety of markets and sectors, including stocks, treasury bonds, the gold market, oil, the dollar, the forex market, and more. And you'll get the Technical Corner segment, which is a short but powerful weekly training session on trading. You'll get access to all the patterns Larry is seeing in the markets, plus the Astro Harmonics and powerful Bradley stock market model that Larry utilizes for less than $5 a day. An extremely potent combination that will give you just the edge you've been looking for. Try patterns, profits, and peace of mind absolutely free for two weeks. Go to TFNN.com and click on the free trial link at the top of the page. That's an $85 value, yours free when you register right now. Get Larry's patterns, profits, and peace of mind and get the edge you've been looking for. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks, to Living a Primal Lifestyle. This is Nico and Paige here. And uh, we were talking oh, we we're talking about milk, and we have Ed from Tampa on the line who wants to talk about milk. So, hey, Ed, how's it going? Doing good, doing good. Nice to hear from Hi, you. Hi, Ed. Hey, Paige, how are you doing? You guys got a great show today, as usual. And it's, uh, oh, and, uh, just, it's, uh, this whole milk thing is amazing. But one of, what, what I wanted to share with you guys and listeners is that basically all organic milk that you buy in the store, all of it is ultra-pasteurized. Mm -hmm. And I can only suspect because it sells slower, it needs to stay on the shelf longer. Yeah. And um, and I thought that was really interesting. And uh, no matter where I looked, no matter what it was, it was all uh, ultra pasteurized. Wow. And it's such a it's like an oxymoron. You know, yeah. it's like you think you're getting organic and getting some benefits, but yet 
There it is. Yeah. And hey, quite, I think they're probably shipping it from longer distances now, too, so maybe that's why they need that. Yeah, ultra-pasteurized, they make it sound like it's something good for you. <laughs> I was listening to a show last night, um, a Dr. Dittman, who wrote a great book, by the way, I'm going to, on uh, producing Making Good Babies, because that's a real passion for me. You know, one of these, my daughters are in their 20s, and I, I want them to make healthy babies. <laughs> <laughs> but... Um, not that I want them to do it right now, no. but I want them to but, <laughs> um, qualify that. But, Ed, what I was, he was talking about is that people think when they see pasteurized and ultra-pasteurized, do you realize that when they pasteurize or ultra-pasteurize, they kill the, you know, bacterias and different toxins and organisms. Everyone thinks they do some kind of, you know, filtering. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. So when you ingest pasteurized milk, you're ingesting dead bacteria and, and, and bugs or whatever you want to call it. So now you're, 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 and your immune system is, is yeah, still going to exactly. react. Your stomach has to do twice the work. It first has to get rid of the stuff that's dead mm -hmm. and then it's going to try to work with an inferior product. It doesn't you make know, any sense. You know, raw milk is alive. It's enzyme rich. It's like, you know, when you eat a, a piece of raw vegetable or greens, which I love, you know, it's alive with enzymes. It sustains the force life. Of life. I mean. So thanks for sharing that, Ed. That's so huge. Um, if you're in the Tampa Bay area, uh, you know, I really encourage you. I know that the farmer's market in St. Pete uh, has uh, a couple different uh, dairy uh, people that you can buy from. But just get on the Internet. You'll find it. I know Weston Price has some links. They help you find. I see some people have asked about that. Yeah. But yeah, thanks for sharing. Fact, in Tampa, uh, there's, a, um, um, there's a, uh, a farm right off of um, Lineball Road uh, that sells, um, uh, of course, uh, the milk for your pets. Exactly. And uh, yeah, and it's all and it's all an organic farm uh, or hydroponic farm. And it's pretty amazing as you're going down Blind Ball, kind of like near Anderson Road. Uh, on the south side of the road, there there's what looks to be a little farm, and sure enough, they wow. they, they got all this stuff, and it's pretty uh, remarkable. You know, it's like so it's its own little farmers market. They grow everything there, and then they get the uh, milk uh, from all the local. Uh, uh, producers. What is uh, the name of the market there? You prob probably don't want to know. I mean, on the uh, air, you don't say. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, you just drive on by, but like this, you know, for your pets. You yeah. know, it's, it, I hear it's really great for your pets. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All the taggers and taggerses. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. You know. Hey, keep the good work up, you okay. guys. Thank you. Thanks, Ed. Take care it's now. Thank okay. you. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Awesome. Can, should I just share this real quick? Yeah, sort of line? Okay, because this is a short article we wanted to talk about. Feeding babies, are grains okay? Um, again, great research out of the Weston Price Foundation. Um, one of the rules for feeding your babies is that, that you should not introduce grains until they are one to two years old. Yeah. That's not what I was told. When my children were little, I think it was six, six months, months, and I think a yeah. lot of... I mean, I know it varies a few months, but the reality is... Get them hooked early, folks. That's yeah, what they're talking about, yeah, really. Yeah, and these, yeah, yeah, exactly. And fatten them up. And also, remember, they don't even start to produce the amylase enzyme that is the enzyme required to digest grains until they're that age. So just keep it in mind, guys. Eggs, raw this milk. Just another nail in the coffin if you're uh, starting off that way, as far as I'm concerned. Folks, take care of yourselves. Have a great weekend. Be healthy. And Paige and I will be back next week. See you.